Hello boys and girls, Miss Miller here today. We are going to learn about complementary colors, which are colors that are across from each other on the color wheel. So the first pair of complementary colors that is across from each other on the color wheel is green and red. The second pair, and this is Miss Miller's favorite pair, is violet and yellow. So they're across from each other. And last but not least are orange and blue that are across from each other. You are going to have to pick one of these pairs of complementary colors. So I am doing violet and yellow together because like I said, they're my favorite. So you now need to figure out which one you are going to draw on. So I think I'm going to choose the violet one. So I need to cut this a little bit smaller. Okay, so I have my violet piece of paper here now. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the violet and I'm going to draw designs on this violet piece of paper. Making sure that where I draw them, let's say I'm going to draw an arrow, that they start and stop at the end of the paper. You cannot have these designs, ooh, and I set up a little, in the middle of the paper have them all touching the end because if you do it in the middle of the paper you're going to make it a lot more complicated for yourself than it needs to be. Okay? So fill up the whole paper with whatever your design is going to be. I don't know how well you can see this. It might be a little hard. Okay, now I have my design all put on here and I just did all arrows on mine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut these out. Do not throw these in the garbage. You want to keep these. Okay, now I have it all cut out. And I'm flipping these pieces over so I don't see my pencil mark. Do not trim these any smaller, boys and girls. You want to leave these however you trim them off the paper so that they match. And now what we're going to do, we're going to work with negative and positive space. So positive is filled space and negative is empty space. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your arrows or whatever you do, probably do something besides what Miss Miller did. And Miss Miller's isn't the most creative, so you want to do something that's a little more creative. And you are first going to take this and place it down, and you're going to find the places that match. So this arrow matched with there where I cut it out from. And you're going to flip it the opposite direction so that it's now showing negative and positive space. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this all in with where I cut out my pieces. Matching them up. Not gluing them down yet. Right now I'm just figuring out where they went so that if I'm wrong I don't have to whip them off. Now I have all my pieces figured out where they're going to go. I think I'm going to shift this up a little bit so it's a good thing I didn't glue it down. And then I'm going to glue it all down. And you can really see the negative and positive space now. Negative empty, positive filled. So my violet would be the positive space and my yellow is the empty space. I'm going to glue down the biggest piece first. Please, when you're gluing this down, put this on top of a mat or another piece of paper or folder or something so you're not getting glue all over the table. We don't need that to happen. So I'm just putting this on top of another yellow piece of paper so that I, like I said, am not making a mess. There we go. All done. Oh, some pieces are coming up, so I'm going to put a little extra glue. And now you are going to fill out your self-reflection sheet on this. Turn it all in and put it in my grade me bin. Have fun and good luck. Be creative. 